once upon a time, there were plenty of jobs for people who used to drive horse-driven carriages. They were called coachmen. When the first industrial revolution came with steam engines, these jobs were no longer in demand. Once upon a time, there were plenty of jobs for weavers. When the second industrial revolution came, with electricity and mass production, these jobs were no longer in demand. Once upon a time, there was a world championship for typists who used to type on typewriters. When the third industrial revolution came with personal computing and automation, the jobs of typists were no longer needed. With every industrial revolution, there are many jobs that will go away, and many other opportunities will get created. And in the fourth industrial revolution, so many jobs will go away, and new opportunities will get created. So definitely, we will need designers for human genes to eliminate certain illnesses. We will certainly need cosmetic specialists for robots. The fourth industrial revolution is getting our physical world merging with the digital world to reshape our economy and society through artificial intelligence, drones, robots, 3D printing, autonomous vehicles, and many other technologies. While some people might think that autonomous vehicles is still part of the future, we are living in this part of the world, in Western Australia, where autonomous trucks have been there in the mines for years. The other day, I bought something from an online store, and I had a problem with it. So I hopped onto the website, and I was trying to talk to the customer support representative. I was chatting and trying to explain my problem to realize after a couple minutes that I was chatting with a bot. Bots are just one form of artificial intelligence. As we speak now, Amazon employs more than 200,000, no, not employees, robots. The fourth industrial revolution is coming to us with a lot of complexity and an unprecedented pace of change. And this is why organizations will face problems that they never faced before. And they will be looking badly for talents. They will be looking for us, the most scarce resource will be talents. Unlike in the previous industrial revolutions where the scarce resource was financial resources, the future scarce resource and precious resource, it will be us. Organizations will be looking for talents. And this is why we need to develop our talents in any field that we love. Because we will not be able to develop our talents in any field unless we are passionate about it. Be it in healthcare, legal, media, art, engineering, the field that you love. If you don't know yet where your passion is, start exploring today. Know where your passion is. Start developing your talents. But developing our talents alone will not be sufficient. Because organizations will depend less on their rigid departmental silos where people used to work independently of other departments. They will move towards teams to address some problems that never existed before. Deliver a project or deliver an invention and then adjourn quickly to join other teams. 
And as talented people, probably we will work across organizations. And this is why we need to develop our communication skills, because we will not be able to deliver alone. We will deliver in teams. And this is why we need to work hard on our emotional intelligence. But we will be working with teams across different cultures, across different parts of the world, online. And this is why we need to work hard on our cultural intelligence. And most likely, some of our colleagues within the same team will be digital bodies, robots or digital assistants. And we need to develop the skills to know how to team up with those digital bodies to deliver better results. And this is what I call a great digital communicators. But developing our talents in the field that we love, being a great digital communicators will not be sufficient either. Because of the pace of change the fourth industrial revolution is bringing with it, our knowledge will become obsolete very quickly. And to give you an example, in 2020 alone, in the United States alone, there were more than 354,000 patents registered. So every 20 seconds, a new invention is registered. We need to realize this pace of change that we are in, and we need to keep ourselves up to date with our field. Not to stay relevant only, but to stay in the job market. So we need to be hyper-learners, where we learn quickly, and then unlearn, and then learn again. And we need to keep this cycle our lifetime in order to stay in the job market. Develop your talents in the field that you love. Be great digital communicators and be hyper learners, and you will be the leaders of our future. Thank you.